Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Seminatus with a new thing that I'm starting to do which is rescue a wrecker and this one's an orc battle wagon which I got from Gumtree and this is how the box arrived and it looked very promising and I was told everything was in the box and I was really excited about that because I'd never built anything orky before and I thought well if I'm going to rescue something from eBay uh, or Gumtree then you know let's let's do something a wee bit different for me and and I was like, oh, okay, well, it's badly put together, but, you know, it can't be that bad, surely. And then uh, I was like, oh, okay, well, it's been put together with toothpaste or something. I don't know. But it was slathered on. You can see it's like it's all over the place, but it wasn't actually a, any decent glue at all. It might have been pound shop super glue. Um, and the person who had it hadn't really sort of worked out the, the best way to stick that um like ram on the front or whatever uh so it wouldn't actually join up so i had to cut it off because it had been well glued uh, and then build it and then attach it later on it's in fact it's one of the last things i put on it uh, so this is me i've got the instruction uh, in front of me so that's really handy but still trying to get it all to fit because a lot of it couldn't go where it was meant to go because there was so much dried on glue uh, but anyway, it, it, it was frustrating, but it was quite fun as well, uh, solving the problem. So um, I've never really painted, well, I've never built an orc thing before in my life. So I decided to, to go red because, uh, as all orc players tell me, uh, red makes it go faster. Um, I'm not really a massive fan of the sort of fart joke uh, orc thing. But anyway, um, red there, a couple of different colours of red highlighted. Um, and then black on the tyres and a sort of rusty sort of track colour on the tracks. And then it was just a case of sponge chipping with some bolt gun metal and then some mithril silver, uh, which is old GW names. And then really it was a case of let's have some fun. I've never painted orcs before, so yeah, okay, they're rubbish. But, you know, it was quite funny. And then I wanted to poke some fun at Space Marine players. So I put a blue panel and a yellow panel and I put some ultramarine transfers and uh, some uh, imperial fists and then I decided that it looked like Postman Pat. Do you remember Postman Pat? He was big here uh, back in the day. That was his little van. He had a little cat called Jess. So I decided that the orcs would probably steal that. So I painted on the little crown in ER for, um, for Queen Elizabeth. And there you go. So that's pretty much how it ended up. Um, <laughs> it was a good laugh. Um, I have to be honest, the fact that you can really go to town with things you would never dream of doing on a, uh, like a Space Marine Rhino or anything like that, it was really, really good fun. I can see the attraction of orcs. I always thought they were a bit immature, if I'm honest, but um, you know, I could see a lot of fun being had with uh, some orcs. I uh, put some weathering powders on it just to really give it a sort of grungy look um, and to try and camouflage some of the, the worst uh, areas of the the sort of over glues and stuff like that so all in all uh, i like the wee sort of periscope thing sticking out the skull of the orc on the turret uh, that grabby claw thing looks quite fun as well uh, like the ramp at the front i did sort of orky style teeth or what i thought orc teeth might look like uh, the guys hanging out the sides with the guns as well really enjoyed it so um, basically i'm saying guys you know have a look around get a wrecked model that someone's going to chuck out and give it a bash because it can be quite fun and it takes the pressure off as well so thanks very much for watching guys leave a comment if you like that would be great and if you'd subscribe that'd be brilliant thanks very much cheers bye bye